right, welcome to the Christian Family Center's virtual exercise classes. We're glad to have you with us today. A couple reminders before we get started. First and foremost, please check with your health care provider if you haven't already before beginning an exercise program. If you feel any dizziness, chest pain, or other discomfort while you're exercising, please stop immediately. By continuing, you're assuming all risks associated with this activity. Have a wonderful workout and a blessed day. Hi, my name's Evan, and today I'm going to lead you through a 30-minute boot camp workout. Uh, the only equipment you'll need is body weight and a water bottle, okay? No dumbbells needed or anything like that. We're just going to use our own bodies, and there's uh, the format of this workout is going to be 30-10. So working for 30, resting for 10, and there are 40 different exercises today, okay? So a lot of, a lot of different stuff that we're going to be trying. Um, pretty tough workout. Uh, if you have any shoulder issues, um, I would caution you against this workout. Um, and, but we're going to take a good five minutes to warm up here okay, before we get going. But let me say a quick prayer for us, and then we'll, uh, we'll fire away with our, our warm-up here. Father, we just thank you for another workout and another opportunity to use our bodies and help us just to enjoy um, this moment and, and to work hard and um, just to learn more and more about what it means to, to seek you. Um, thank you for everybody that was able to join us for this workout, and we just lift it up in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so lots of cardio moves, lots of core moves today. So first things first, we're going to get loose with a nice little warm-up here. I want you to really loosen up those shoulders, some arm circles, backwards now. Always important to take a good five minutes to warm up, especially when we are going to get after it like we are today. Twist. Now we'll go in the frontal plane with a side reach. Really reaching that top hand over. Hands on the hips. We'll go hip circles. Reverse it. Good. Now we'll go swimmers that whole body into it. Reverse swimmers. Good. Now we'll reach across. Cross body punch. And instead of reaching across, let's reach behind now. So using those hands as drivers. Now this next one, we're just going to do a Backward, forward arm swing. Excellent. Let's open up the hips with some hurdle steps. So as I was saying earlier, the format's going to be on for 30, off for 10. Our goal is to get through the first 10 exercises, then take a drink break. Then get through the next 10, take a drink break. Basically every 10 exercises will take a drink break, okay? Sweeps, Let's loosen up those hamstrings. And after sweeps, glute kickbacks. Kicking that foot behind you. Toe touches, Frankensteins, a couple windmills, a few back slappers, really open up the hands, open up that chest, and reach around. Okay. Hopefully you are ready to work here. Try and find a little bit of open space. So we're going to be doing some shuffling, some crab walking, uh, things along those lines. Okay. So make sure you have a good, at least eight by eight space. I'd say more than that would be ideal, but um, make do with what you have. So we're going to start in 10 seconds with Frankenstein's, and once we go, we're going. Okay. So let's start in 10 seconds with Frankenstein's. 
three, two, one, and let's get after it. Opposite hand to foot. From the side view. Gonna loosen up those hamstrings. If you have trouble touching that foot on this one, shorten it up, touch the shin. Doing great, about 10 seconds here. After this one, we're gonna drop to the floor for some plank shuffles. Okay, watch me for a second. This is the next exercise, plank shuffles, okay? Starting in three, two, one, get after it. Couple steps to the right, couple steps to the left. Keep that core nice and braced. Shoulders stacked over the hands. About 10 seconds, doing great. Three, two, one, standing up. Okay, our next exercise here is just gonna be what I call rainbow marches. So nice overhead reach on these. Three, two, one. Five more seconds. Excellent, okay. Next one we've done before in my other classes, crab walks. You're gonna get down on your hands and feet, hips up, a few steps backwards, a few steps forward. Really hike those hips up. What helps me is if I look up toward the ceiling. Really keep that core engaged. Keep those hips up. Fight that urge to drop your hips toward the floor. About five seconds here. Doing great. Excellent. Standing up. Next one we're gonna do is a pivot lunge with a reach. Let's start that one in three seconds. Pivot lunge with a reach. I want you to pretend there's a nail in that front foot. Really keep that front foot at 12 o'clock. Externally rotate those hips. Pivot your weight onto that back foot. Nice reach across with those hands. About five seconds. Excellent, okay. Watch me, next exercise, you're gonna go into a toe touch. Walk it out, walk it forward. Inchworms, go ahead. Toe touch, walk it out. Slight hold, walk it forward. Feel a nice stretch in those hamstrings. About halfway there. About five seconds here. Try to get one more rep in. Okay, standing back up. Next exercise, we're gonna do shuffle touches, okay? So getting ready to do some shuffling here. Starting now. Shuffle, touch the floor. those hips back, chest up on those nice shuffles. Get those arms into it. About 10 seconds. Five seconds. And take a breather. Okay, next one we're gonna start in that plank position here. You're gonna pivot your back foot. Corkscrew. tough. Don't forget to pivot that back foot. 
10 seconds. Five. Standing up. Okay. Next one we got good old jumping jacks. Then one more after that and we'll take our first drink break. Three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Old school jumping jacks. About halfway there. Five seconds. And take a breather. Okay, last one. Dive bomber push-ups. So I want you to start kind of a downward dog position here. We're gonna dive down toward the ground and reverse it. Try and get that face nice and close to the ground. Flipping into somewhat of an up dog position at the end of the movement. Last couple reps. And take a breather. Okay, you guys did great. Take some water. You're gonna take about 40 seconds of rest here. So, that was somewhat of a warm up block. There's three more blocks to this workout, and they have a different focus. So, that one's mainly just to get us moving, get us loosened up. Now this next one, we're gonna introduce a little bit more jumping and a little bit tougher movements, okay? So the first one we're gonna start with your choice between hip twist jumps or a karaoke. So we still got about 10 seconds of rest here, okay? But that's the first one that we're gonna do. So I want you to think about which one you're gonna choose. Starting in three, two, one, go. Nice loose hips, whichever exercise you're doing. About five seconds. Feel that weight transfer from side to side. Okay, we're gonna go into a bear crawl position here for the next one. On the hands and feet with the knees bent. And you're gonna do a lateral bear crawl. A few steps lateral. Try to fight that urge to have your butt up in there like this. Keep it nice and level. To make it tougher, just increase your speed. 10 seconds. Okay, standing up. Next one we're gonna do is skater jumps. So you're gonna load, explode. Starting in three seconds. Side to side movement. If you got some space, mix in a forward backward zigzag. Wanna really take your time to land those jumps rather than rushing through it. Cause that landing is where we're really working those hips. About five seconds. Good. Okay. After skater jumps, we're gonna go back into that crab walk position. Right here, we're gonna do this twist and touch. So keep those hips up, twist and tap the floor. Really dig those heels into the ground, using those glutes, getting that good hip extension. Try not to let your hips sag toward the floor on this one. Last couple reps. Okay. Next one, we're just gonna do a forward back pedal run. All right, 
So just a few steps forward, plant, a few steps back, push off. Plant, push off. Plant, push off. Good mechanics on those plant. Let those hips sink. Last couple reps. Okay, take a breather. We're gonna go into a side plank next. So I want you to start right here. Then from here, you're gonna put one hand up. And then from here, just do like a jumping jack position. All on one side. This one you should really feel lighting up the outer hip. Core is obviously working. Obliques on the bottom side. And take a breather. Okay. You guys are doing great. Next one is tough. I'm gonna work the inner thighs. Nice wide stance here. I call them duck walks. I don't waddle like a duck. Really battle to keep that wide stance with your feet pointed out. Resist that urge to Narrow your stance. You should feel those hip rotators working on this one. Stay low. Get those hands into it. About five seconds. Okay, great job. We're going to that side plank again. This time on the other side. Three, two, one. Remember, get that hand up. Jumping jacks with that opposite leg. Make sure that shoulder's staying engaged. 10 seconds. Five. Okay, great job. Last two before we uh, get some water again. So we're gonna go ins and outs. Three, two, one, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Nice quick feet. Halfway through, I want you to change your lead foot. Okay, change your lead foot. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Whew, good job. Last one on this block, tiger crawl. I'll go from 45 degrees. Down on your forearms. Almost like a prowling tiger here. Halfway there. Last rep. Okay. Get some water. Great job, guys. We are halfway there. So, now we're gonna really get into some more leg strength exercises. So we're gonna do lunge jumps, squat jumps, things along those lines. So this third block is one of the toughest. And then on the core side, we're gonna try some 3D plank variations. That, those ideas I got courtesy of our friends at the Gray Institute. So we're gonna start with lunge jumps in about five seconds, okay? Really take your time on these and go ahead. Make sure we're loading that front hip. Thirty seconds is a long time on these. Halfway there. Should feel a lot of glutes 
A lot of quads on this one. In that back leg, hip flexors. Okay, quick breather. Down in the plank position on the hands. We're gonna do a plank reach like this. Hand goes behind you and forward. So unlike a traditional plank, my hips are moving, I'm not stationary here. Okay, core staying embraced the whole time on those. Next one, we're gonna go squat jumps here. If you wanna de-intensify, do a squat jump with a reach and take that jump out of it. Just squat and reach. And if you want to jump, just focus on nice soft landings. 10 seconds. Great job, guys. Let's go back to that plank matrix with a four backward reach. Okay, hand behind, hand forward. These are tough. 10 seconds. Great job. Okay. Next one, we're going back to our shuffle touches. So let's shuffle, touch the floor. Last three reps. Quick breather. Now we're going back to that side plank position. On an elbow this time. And we'll do a rotation with the upper body. Nice, smooth torso twist. Try not to let those hips sag. Three seconds. Okay, great job. After our shuffle touch, we're gonna do a balance matrix. So I want you to pick your one side and you're gonna do some forward backward taps. You should keep all your weight on that one leg. Now, instead of forward backward, we'll go side to side taps. Now, instead of side to side, we'll go twist. Keeping about 80, 90% of your weight on that stationary leg. Okay, great job. This time we'll do that opposite side. Well, we're going back to the uh, side plank here. Back on that forearm, get that good rotation with the upper body. Reach that hand through and then open it up. Doing great, about 10 seconds. Okay, we'll go back to those toe taps, but with the opposite foot now. So 
Try to remember which leg and switch them. Forward, backward taps. Go ahead. Good, let's go side to side. On this one, just really trying to train the hip and ankle to react appropriately to the force applied to it. Let's go rotational. Okay, last one before we get some more water. It's gonna be a reverse plank. Up on the hands, driving those hips up, looking up toward the ceiling. Really keep those hips up. Should feel hamstrings, lower back. Obviously your shoulders just from keeping you up and stable. About 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. Get some well-deserved water. And we'll take 40 seconds here. So the fourth block is coming up here. And then, quick cool down and that's it. So you guys are three quarters of the way there. We're gonna start in about 20 seconds. So just so you know what's coming next, we're gonna do a 45 degree walking lunge. So imagine a clock, you're gonna to step to 10 o'clock and two o'clock, just like this, versus straight on, okay? Starting in five seconds, just walking lunges with a 45 degree angle, go ahead. About halfway there. 10 seconds. Nice wide step. Three, two, one. Great job. Now we're going to go to a traditional bear crawl. So instead of that lateral bear crawl, a forward backward bear crawl. Starting in three seconds. So get on those hands and feet with the knees bent. Nice straight hips. Shouldn't have that button straight up in the air. Should be nice and neutral. A few steps forward, a few steps back. A few steps forward, a few steps back. Five seconds. Okay, standing up. Next one's gonna be wood choppers. Let's start those in three seconds. Just a diagonal chopping motion. As you go into that squat, keep your butt back, chest up. Let's flip over to the other side. Last three reps. Okay, quick breather. Then we're going back to that plank position on the hands. This one, we're gonna start with rock climbers to the outside, go ahead. In 15 seconds, I'm gonna call a switch and we're gonna go crisscross. Okay, let's crisscross it. Opposite knee to elbow. Last couple reps. Excellent job. Home stretch here. Next one's gonna be a hand swing hinge. So you're going to think butt back, butt forward. Butt back, butt forward. So drive those hips forward on the way up. Those hands are your drivers. Let those hands do the work and let the rest of your body follow suit. Last 
last two reps. Great job. Okay, home stretch. Plank jacks, and then some kicks, and then some burpees. Back in that plank position. Jumping jacks. Try not to let those hips come up toward the ceiling. Keep them nice and level. Straight line from the neck to the ankles. Five seconds. Okay. Last couple exercises. We're gonna do side kick, side kick, punch, punch. Let's go side kick, side kick, punch, punch. Side kick, side kick, punch, punch. Last couple reps. Okay. Last but certainly not least, traditional burpees with a push up. Start in three, two, one, go ahead. Drop down, kick back, push up, jump forward, and up. Nice reach at the top. Halfway there. Three seconds. Okay, great work. Take a quick drink. Great work today, guys. Hopefully that workout gave you an idea of what you can do with your own body without any equipment at all. Let's start with just some big hip circles, slower pace. Reverse direction. Now we'll go down the middle here, stretch the hamstrings and inner thighs. The wider your stance, the more I want your toes to point out. Okay, last couple stretches. We got a lot of flexion on this workout. We did not get a lot of extension. So I just wanna do a little bit of a hip flexor stretch and a thoracic stretch. So we're gonna do like you're stuck in the bottom of a lunge, lean forward to feel stretching that hip flexor, and then intensify it by really lifting up and reaching up and behind you. Look up toward the sky. Excellent, let's switch feet. Shouldn't feel lower back pain on this one. If you do, then shorten up your range of motion and perhaps take this reaching component out of it. Okay, standing back up. A couple slow back slappers. Really open up that chest on the way back. You guys did a great job today. Thank you for joining us here at the center. Have a blessed day.